Hey guys, it's Aki here. If you've been following me on my DIY wind tunnel series to this point, you will know that we need a smoke generator. And for the longest time, I've been experimenting with different designs. And finally, I've 3D printed a prototype that actually works. And it's this thing right here in front of me. And you can see the smoke is slowly and steadily coming out from the tube in the front here. Now, if I move the nozzle closer to our wind tunnel, you can see we have a smooth laminar flow traveling across the test chamber nicely. Uh, right now, I've been testing this uh, Supra, so that's pretty cool. Notice the back of the car where the huge spoiler is and we're seeing a lot of interesting flow pattern so how does it work well let me open this up and show you to open this all we need to do is uncover the lid uh, we'll talk about the lid in a second so inside we have a simple water mist generator um, there are two holes the larger one at the back here, which is for the cable to run through and act as a air intake. And then the smaller hole in the front here where our rubber tube is currently attached. Uh, that's where our water vapor will come out. I designed it this way because I noticed that the water vapor tends to sink downwards. So having an opening at the lower position, the vapor naturally comes out from the bottom. And when we move our rubber tube closer to our wind tunnel, it experiences negative pressure because the fan back there is constantly pulling the air around it. This caused the water vapor to get sucked into the channel. Having a hole in the back here helps to neutralize that air pressure difference and allows the vapor to flow through it very naturally. Oh, and I want to talk about the lid. Yes, it's got a very nice thumb thing right here. It allows me to easily take it on and off. I'm very proud of the design, by the way. And if you look closely um, at the bottom of the lid here, we have a pyramid thing going on right here. That's because I noticed the water vapor generator tends to kick up a lot of water. So if I have a design like that, it will basically channel and direct the water back down when it hits the lid. Just trying to, you know, minimize splash. I think the water mist is the best medium to help us visualize the airflow because it's non-invasive um, and not harmful to breathe in and doesn't trigger the smoke alarms in the apartments or leave any residues on your die cast cars which will not be good because some of the oil smoke would do it but it's tricky to work with water mist because there are lots of variables that can weaken the flow of the smoke and if the wind is too fast it gets thinner and vi less visible and I have to get the height and the volume just right so we can have a lot of smoke um, being generated inside of the container. All right, one issue that just came up as I'm filming this, as you can see, the smoke will stop coming out of it. That's because we fill our uh, container a little bit too full. It's above the height of the outlet, so the water is basically stopping the mist from coming out. So what we need to do, we need to dump out a little bit of water. Anyway, uh, I'm really happy with the design because it just works. Uh, one improvement I like to make is experimenting with the size and the shape of the air outlet hole. Right now the tube is pretty narrow, so the steam coming out of it, it's pretty small. I want to make it bigger and wider so we can see more of the vapor hitting our model cars 
which would be a lot more satisfying to watch. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions about this water vapor generator. Thank you for watching. My name is Aki, and I hope you have a wonderful day.